Welcome to Brain Stuff. Not to get too personal, but when did you last wash your jeans? Whether you're wearing a pair of busted mm -hmm. Levi's or brand new raw <laughs> denim from some fancy boutique with a weird name, your pants are part of a debate that designers and customers alike have been having for decades. And it's this, when should you wash your jeans? Do you need to wash them at all? Let's look at the basics. Denim is a kind of cotton with a twill textile weave. In a twill weave, the thread called the weft, the crosswise yarn, passes under at least two warp threads. Those are the lengthwise yarns. In most jeans, only these warp threads are dyed, meaning that the other threads, the weft threads, remain white. That's why blue jeans are white on the inside. And that blue shade on the warp threads comes from a dye called indigo. Unlike some other dyes, indigo doesn't penetrate the cotton, you know? Instead, it sits atop the yarn on the surface of each thread, and over time, molecules of the indigo chip away, causing the fabric to fade. And this fade is what makes each pair unique, so much so that the FBI analyzes denim patterns when tracking criminals. I mean, put your tinfoil hat on, they're watching your jeans. The more you wear a pair, the more broken in they become, and you'll see the appearance of fade patterns, you know, whiskers on the front, honeycomb patterns behind the knees, and so on. And here's where it gets... Wait, which shoe is this? Not all jeans are created equally, so let's divide them into two rough categories, washed and raw. Washed denim is just that, washed after dyeing to make the fabric softer and reduce shrinkage. Sometimes washed denim is artificially distressed to give it a uh, pre-broken in or worn look. The fading of raw denim, on the other hand, happens naturally over time depending on the activities of the person wearing the jeans. So the longer you go without washing these jeans, the more pronounced that fading pattern becomes, personalizing the pants. Once you have a pair of jeans, you will hear numerous pieces of advice about caring for them. So much stuff. Most of this does not apply across the board. For example, some companies will ask you to wait at least six months before washing your jeans, because if you wash them early, the indigo will wear off uniformly, robbing you of those unique fade patterns. And this is the heart of that whole to wash or not to wash question. The longer you go without washing a pair of jeans, the more pronounced that wearing pattern becomes. And you'll also preserve the indigo, as well as the stiff texture of the fiber, which I hate, but a lot of people are into. So what happens if you don't wash them? Great question. Won't bacteria pile up, turning your entire lower hemisphere into a plague-ridden cesspool of filth? Not necessarily. In 2011, a microbiology student at the University of Alberta went, get this, 15 months without washing his jeans. I don't know, I, I don't know if he's single or what. He tested their bacterial content along with the bacterial content of another pair that had been washed about two weeks beforehand and he found almost no difference. Anyway, if you can't wash them, what do you do to keep your blue jeans clean? You'll hear some some crazy stuff. Levi's famously recommended freezing your jeans to kill bacteria and stave off any funky odors. But that is bunk. Take them out now if, if they're in your fridge. Your roommates think you're being weird. See, microbe expert Stephen Craig Carey says that's a myth. Most of the bacteria in our pants comes from our skin, and a lot of these organisms are pre-adapted to low temperatures. Instead, Carey recommends using high temperatures. Think like 121 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. He says that will rid the denim of bacteria. Or, he adds, you could just wash them. So depending on how often you wear your jeans, their age, the type of denim, and what you do while you're wearing them, you really don't have to wash them as often as, say, your underwear, which you should be washing. If you want to get that uber cool, unique fading pattern, your best bet really is to avoid washing them for a while. And regardless of how carefully you care for your favorite pair of raw denim jeans, messes like life, uh, find a way. One day, some sort of disaster will strike and you'll have to clean your jeans somehow. Yes, even if that means washing them. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I know we didn't get into some of the, again, very specific care instructions that many boutique jean manufacturers insist upon. So your best bet is to check the brand specific instructions for your pants. And one last question. What are your favorite type of jeans? Are you one of those people who, like me, didn't wear them for years? Let me know in the comments. And as always, stay tuned for more brain stuff.